country mm -hmm. that would help us sustain development. Um, we have to be realistic. Oh. We need to start creating and harvesting and looking at our local talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like Mr. Job said, in terms of sophisticating their methods, mm -hmm. um, refining their methods, and also if it means bringing in partners, mm -hmm. stakeholders, mm -hmm. be it Gambian sci scientists in the diaspora, mm -hmm. or looking at things we have in-house mm -hmm. that we can elaborate on and work on, mm -hmm. and to create this um, STI ecosystem. And also, to um, the reason why um, the president declared 2012 um, the year of STI, I think it's also to make us um, recognize that um, we have to wake up to the times. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the world of technology. Mm -hmm. And when we say technology, it's not just ICT. ICT. Um, it means, um, let's say, um, the lady making local soap. How do we take that and help her market it and take it to the next level, export her product, open new markets for her, for her to access markets? Um, so STI is vast. Um, and I believe we're on the right track. We're creating that momentum and there's a lot of rewards to be reaped from um, declaring this year SDI, but that's just the beginning. Thank you. Um, uh, we'll now turn to Mr. Job. Um, how uh, can um, STI complement our development initiatives? Yeah, thank you very much again, uh, I mean, when we talk about STI and what it can do for development, I think it's enormous. So many activities. Like uh, Khadija decided that poor woman in the village who doesn't understand that the soap she is making could help her to get out of poverty. And, uh, you know, there are so many activities that people can uh, engage in this country. And it's because, uh, you know, they are not help or enabled to, you know, refine what they're doing, make them access markets that could help them to sell their products. They feel like, I mean, we are not doing much. But, uh, I mean, science and technology innovation is a way of helping or it's a vehicle that can drive development. And all developed nations today we're talking about are developed mainly because of science, technology, and innovation. So Gambia also need to be part of the global world, and that is why it is very necessary. Yeah. And we can list so many things. I mean, it's to infinite that people are doing and that are related to science and technology, and that will also help us for our socioeconomic development. I am very much you know, happy and delighted for this year mm -hmm. for one simple reason mm -hmm. of the fact that over the years we have been talking about these issues. But now we are getting it from mm -hmm. the highest authority, that is His Excellency the President. Mm -hmm. And that is telling us then, oh, very soon, that critical mass who were absent to understand the importance of science and technology and linking it to socioeconomic development is coming up now. Because if the President is on the forefront, then all of us should follow suit. And through that, we will be able to enlighten the people, get them appreciated, and then help them to be able to develop themselves to get out of poverty. So in a nutshell, I would say, science and technology is the vehicle that will take us out of poverty. Thank you very well. Um, we'll now turn to uh, Mr. Toure, um, who is with the research um, Department of the Ministry of Higher Education. Now, um, we know um, science and technology uh, goes um, a lot with research. Now, um, if we are to um, um, fulfill this dream, um, what exactly do we need to do to, to get to that point, get into innovative things um, in order to achieve our target goals? Well, um, that's a very important question. And uh, research, is fundamental uh, in every development uh, initiative, especially for the developing countries. And uh, looking at STI in particular, you are virtually talking about research. You know, because um, here, you, you look at those creative ideas, like uh, Mr. Ndau mentioned, and then to be able to use those creative ideas you know for your services you know for for your own use here research plays a very important role but at the same time when i look at research from the policy perspective we would 
would have to come together you know, as a country, create the partnership, create uh, that foundation, you know, laying down those policy directives. And this is exactly what we are doing at the ministry. We, we have the higher education policy that would look at research within the higher education uh, perspective. And uh, we also have the science and technology uh, policy or science, technology and innovation policy, uh, which is coming up very fast. And that would also look at those STI you know, uh, research areas. So um, here you are able to identify critical areas that should be explored. You know, and once you explore them, you will be able to identify, for instance, your strength you know, as a country. And how do you bring in partners from outside, you know, to get to partner with you? And then I, I would give a scenario. Uh, if, you, if you have an innovation or a business company all the way in Europe, America, coming down here, partner with you because you have those uh, natural resources here. You know, you do research and then you have some form of production. Then at, at some point you are going into innovation. And then these are the materials you will use, you know, to sell out and uh, to bring some profit, you know, to your country. So uh, I think research plays that uh, very critical role, you know, um, in the whole process. But first we must have to come together as, as a country identify those critical research areas and again you you look at um, traditional medicines for instance you know you have a lot of uh, traditional healers all over the country you know but if you if you want to uh, bring research into this aspect you're talking about standardization you know you go to some countries you have a lot of these uh, traditional healings that could find themselves in the in the pharmacies you know can't we do that here you know you're talking about uh, bringing them together, standardize, you know, do some form of measurement, you know, into the whole thing. And then once they are standardized, you put them in the market and they can go as far as anywhere, you know, because they are able to cure certain things that uh, the conventional medicine has failed to uh, take care of. You know, so research would be useful in that aspect. And uh, we are definitely into research and development as part of this component, the year of science technology and innovation would we'll definitely look critically at those areas how do we develop the university you know uh, enhance them you know so that uh, those people who have the brain the capacity you know to go into research would would be built up you know to take up that leadership you know in the country Thank you very much. Uh, let's now turn to um, Madam Tambajang. Um, you you talked about um, the, the the products um, produced by the, the locally. Now, how do you get um, the, the the local um, producers um, to be more innovative? Um, so that because you said it's all part of um, science and technology and innovation, like you said, is broad. How do you get them um, informed about um, these um, developments, and then for them to be more innovative in order to, you know, to to produce um, innovative things that will sell their products outside in line with the SDI um, um, initiatives? Okay, that's a very important question because that is why um, this year has been declared. STI 2012, year of STI, because we want to create awareness, like being on TV, being on the radio, um, print. Mm -hmm. um, we want people to know that the possibilities are endless in terms of helping them market and refine their products. Um, in terms of how can STI make a difference in the life of a poor woman in, in the rural areas, mm -hmm. somebody who probably would have been forgotten. Um, you know, we we have a whole list of activities lined up. Mm. Um, we are going throughout the country, through all the regions where we would go. We'll have banter bars. We'll we'll have um, big media campaigns um, to raise awareness and also to inform you know the citizens of those towns or villages that um, we're here mm -hmm. and we we're, we're here to listen to them. Um, we're here to you know find out you know, th their methods, what are their methods of doing business? How can we help you mm -hmm. further um, sophisticate your product? How can we help you market your product? Mm -hmm. um, but I think it goes back to what Yusufa said in terms of research. Mm -hmm. I, I think that is inf uh, that's definitely fundamental. 